Hello, I am Federico Tomassetti and I would like to show you how you can create a new language in JetBrains MPS. So, as first thing, we are going to open the application. You have to consider that in JetBrains MPS you can create all sorts of different languages. You can create uh, full blown languages such as Java or C or simple domain specific languages. In this case we are going to create a very simple domain specific language just to see uh, the main concepts and how you can proceed to create your own language. The same principle applies also for more complex languages. To create a very simple language we are going to create a language to represent a to-do list. So we are going to call it to do. We will need also a sandbox solution. Sandbox solution is a um, consider you can think of it as a project, project where you can play with your new language and uh, verify that it works as you expect it to work. And the language will be called to do language. When developing a language, there are different aspects or concerns that we have to consider. And we can see that they are organized in different folders. We have the structure, the editor, the constraints, the behavior, the type system, and the generator. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to consider just the first two the structure and the editor concern. The structure is where we will define the metamodel. This is something very similar to uh, what we will do in, uh, Eclipse, in the Eclipse modeling framework. Now, the metamodel just, uh, just means that we are going to define the information that are associated to each kind of node. That's a difficult term, but the, the meaning it's actually very simple and let's get started. To define the meta model we have just to define the different concepts that can be represented in our language. So we can start with defining the entire list. Then we will need another concept for the single items that will be part of our list. So we call them to do list and to do item. There is a difference between these two concepts, and the difference is that the to do list can be used as the, the root of a model. So we can have a model that contains directly a to do list. And we are going to specify that by changing this value to true. We will leave instead this value to false for the to do item because. Uh, a single to-do item cannot be uh, directly contained in a model. It has to be contained in a to-do list. Then we have to specify the different properties, children and references of each single concept. Properties are simple uh, attributes, simple values uh, that are part of a concept. For example, our to-do list will have a name. So name could be a string. Other kind of properties could be integer or boolean, for example. Children references are instead, uh, uh, they represent instead nodes. And the difference is that children are nodes which are owned by the concept we are defining, while references are not. So reference as to be owned by some other node. For now we will just define children. We will say that each to-do list has as children a series of items. So items and the type is to-do item. We can have uh, uh, any kind any number of items so we change the range from 
zero to n. The to do item for now will contain just a simple description, it should be a string also in this case. So um, this is all the information that we need to, to contain in our nodes to get started. At this point we can already start to use our concept. Well, we have first just to generate the language. Takes a little while. Now we can have in the sandbox and we can define a new node. Uh, as we've seen before, we have specified that uh, just the to-do list can be used as a root element, so it suggests me just the to-do list, not the to-do item. So I define the to-do list and I have the possibility to specify the name. So personal list and I can define the single item. For example, I could remember to learn some English so that I can record better screencast or to play more with MPS. Okay, now we didn't define an editor for our concepts but JetBrains MPS is able to offer us a um, sort of default editor, which has this, um, this structure that is the same for all the concepts. However, now we are going to see how to personalize the editor for our notes so that uh, they look more similar to what we expect from a to-do list. To do so, we are going to create new elements inside the, the editor concern, the editor aspect. We could uh, do that from here, so we could create a concept editor, or there is a shortcut, we can open the concept, we can select the tab editor, just click, and have a new editor which is associated to our to-do list and is uh, listed in the editor aspect. Now we have um, to decide how to represent uh, graphically this element and to represent the to-do list uh, we can imagine to have a vertical collection and at the top uh, we can have uh, the word uh, to-do or to-do list followed by the name of our to-do list. Then uh, we could add directly the items. Now we can regenerate our language and we can take a look at the existing model that we uh, created before. And we can see that the representation of the to-do list is change. So uh, the model, the, the representation of the model has been automatically updated. That is, is possible because JetBrains MPS is a projectional editor. So internally it stores the, the information that are contained in each concept and then it project so it then create uh, the editor uh, the visual representation on the fly of those concepts using the, the current version of the editor. Now uh, we want also to modify the representation of the to-do item so we operate in the very same way and we can uh, can use in this case just a, a, an horizontal collection. We could use an asterisk followed by a description. We regenerate, also in this case the language, take a look at our model and now it seems much more similar to a to-do list. 
However, we can keep improving it. For example, uh, we could want to use a bigger font for the title of the list and then uh, add uh, an empty line between the title and the, and the items. To do so, we have to change the editor for the to-do list. Now, um, to add uh, an empty line, we can simply do that. I'm not saying this is the smartest uh, or the cleanest way to do that, but for now it will do the trick. We have now a line of separation. Then uh, we could think that after all we don't need this constant to-do list uh, to be created always in front of the name of our to-do list. So we can remove it. Let's update it. And OK, we have now our title uh, in isolation on one line. However, this is not very different from uh, the single item, so let's uh, try to change that to make it look more like a title. To do so, we are going to, to open the inspector, selecting the cell, which represents the name of the to-do list, and we are going to add um, a few a few changes in style. For example, we could add this, and then the font style we want to be bold. Now this starts to look uh, a bit more like a to-do list. At this point we can try our editor uh, by creating a new model. So, uh, business stuff. Uh, well, I don't know, uh, pay taxes or send invoice. There are items that uh, we can add to our list. So we've seen like in a few minutes we we have been able to create uh, an editor that is very simple, it's very natural to use and, um, and I hope that uh, it helps you to get in start to use JetBrains MPS. Thank you for watching, bye!